guys, LP here with your jump volleyball training tip of the week. This week, I'm still at the Team Canada Training Center in Gatineau, and I'm here to tell you about a tip uh, about hitting, all right? And I'm gonna start by asking you a question. I want you to tell me, or just to think, okay, about the number of balls that you hit with your feet on the ground, okay? Think about that, and realize how many balls that is, okay? And I can tell you right away that it is a lot of balls, because you come into the gym, you start hitting some balls at the wall, you do some pepper, some one-on-one, -on -one, you're always hitting the ball from the ground. So what I tell my athletes is to realize that this is a great opportunity to train what you will have to do once you are in the air hitting an actual ball, okay? So I'm gonna give you a little tip about how I like um, to get my athletes to warm up um, their hit so that they really recreate what's going to happen when they jump at the net. So first thing, when you jump, okay, you are going to bring both arms up, okay? Because you're going full out, boom. You're jumping, both arms are going up, okay? So when we warm up, we're gonna to wanna to bring both arms up. Okay? Often we see players, they'll do this, okay? And arms are not going up, this is not recreating an actual situation, an actual hitting situation, okay? So first thing is we're gonna to toss the ball with two hands so that arms go up, all right? The second thing that that does is that it keeps the ball floating, okay? And I'll ask you one thing. How many times does your setter set you the ball with a spin so that you can hit the ball over the net? Never, right? That would be a double touch. So what happens is that a lot of players, they already give a spin to the ball and it, they don't really work on the wrists, all right? So by tossing the ball, okay, with two hands, I bring my arms up, but it also keeps the ball floating and then I can really work on my wrists, all right? So, so that's the two first things. And the next thing is we wanna make sure that we bring our shoulder, our right shoulder back. Because when we jump, this is what's gonna happen. We always jump open to the setter, up, right shoulder goes back, and then I'm ready to rotate and come from my hip. So those are the three things that we're going to be careful about, okay? And we're just going to simply hit, uh, warm up our shoulder like this. So I'll toss with two hands, up, okay? So you saw, okay? Both arms up, ball's floating, shoulder goes back, boom, hit the ball. And from there, you can do a lot of variations and work on a bunch of different things. But at least you are making sure that you are doing the things that you will be doing in the air every time you hit a ball with your feet on the ground. So use all those reps, guys, to get better in the air and to get better at volleyball and get better at hitting, guys. So thanks for listening, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tip. Try it out. Let me know how it goes. Also, let me know what you want to learn about. And I'll catch you next week for another Jump Volleyball training tip.